The Galaxy S10 is the first smartphone ever to be using Qualcomm's 3D sonic sensor, an under-display ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And you might have heard about this in passing, but today I'm working with Qualcomm to break down what it actually means for you, and it's pretty incredible. Compared to an optical scanner, which essentially takes a low-res 2D snapshot of the finger, this uses high frequency sound waves. It fires them into the pores of your finger and then uses the time taken for them to return to detect ridges in three dimensions. So that's cool, but there's a lot of subsequent benefits to having a 3D sonic sensor in your smartphone. It is tiny. The 3D sonic sensor is 0.2 millimeters thick. The alternative and current best solution out there is an optical scanner, which uses a small camera under the screen and is about 15 times thicker at 3 millimeters. There's always a compromise with phones that use optical scanners. You either need to have an outright smaller battery, a thicker phone, or you need to get a custom battery made to fit around the scanner, which will still be smaller than a battery you can have with a 3D sonic sensor, but also more expensive to make. Also, with an optical scanner, you have to press your finger into the display using about 100 grams of actuation force. Because an ultrasonic sensor is firing waves out, it doesn't matter. You can get away with 15 grams of actuation force, which is the equivalent of grazing your finger against the screen. It can also scan straight through contaminants, and in fact is the only mobile tech out there right now that can still accurately detect prints through dust, water, or even some moisturizer you just put on your hands. These would all be a problem for other phones. 3D Sonic also resists image burn, which is one of the biggest problems with having an optical scanner. If you've ever seen the Vivo Nex or the OnePlus 6T in action, you might have noticed that the small area in the screen where your finger can be scanned lights up to a brightness level much higher than the rest of the display is capable of. An optical scanner needs this brightness so that it can read your print properly, but it can have the unintended consequence of leaving a dark pink spot after prolonged use. Security. Ultrasonic is just much harder to bypass. With a 2D scanner, you could take a photograph of someone's print or a sample of the oily residue on their screen and this would actually be enough to get in. But if depth is also being detected, then this wouldn't work. So I actually just had a call with the team who's behind this technology and it turns out they've actually built three-dimensional anti-spoofing capability. Qualcomm has trained the sensor to understand the properties of real skin, like its elasticity. So even if someone managed to build a 3D mock-up of your finger, it still wouldn't work. But I guess maybe the coolest thing about it is that the 3D Sonic Scanner can do all of this whilst still being faster than the optical scanner. The entire unlock process from start to finish can be done in 0.2 seconds with this, compared to 0.35, so it's nearly twice as fast as optics. And this is only the current generation of scanners, there's quite a big future here. The potential to detect what is happening not just on your finger, but also up to 4 millimeters behind it. It could detect your blood flow or your heart rate in an instant. Also the fact that this tech sits behind your screen and doesn't need your screen to be on to power it can save a lot of battery. With an optical scanner, the finger has to be brightly lit up, and considering that the average person unlocks 200 times a day, it all adds up. I'm also pretty excited for larger fingerprint scanners. This tech can be quite easily scaled, and so the idea of having an all-screen 3D sonic sensor is not an impossibility. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.